so hello everyone welcome back to another video where we discuss the static portion of general knowledge and in this video we will discuss about the olympic games so without any further delay let's start with the video the first olympic games were organized in the city of athens which falls in greece and the year in which they were organized was 1896 and the first olympics which included the participation of females was the paris olympics of 1900 also, India recorded its first ever participation from Anglo-Indian community in the 1900 Olympics. The first ever Olympic Games, that is the ancient Olympic Games, are believed to have been organized in the year 776 BC. And the modern Olympics was revived by a man called Pierre de Coubertin. The motto of the Olympic Games is Citius Altius Fortius and it is in Latin language and in English, it translates as faster, higher, stronger. However, there is a change in the current motto of the Olympics and it reads as Cetius Altius Fortius Communiter. The English translation to this would be faster, higher, stronger and together. If you see the Olympic flag, it is basically a combination of five rings which symbolizes the union of five continents of the world. These five continents are Asia, Africa, Europe, Americas and Oceania. Now we will be talking about the International Olympic Committee and it was formed in the year 1894 and the headquarters of the International Olympic Committee are in Lausanne which is in Switzerland. The official languages of the International Olympic Committee are English, French and the national or the official language of the host nation. For example, this year the official language of the International Olympic Committee was Japanese as well and the International Olympic Committee has 206 active members. The first president of the International Olympic Committee was Demetrios Vikelas, who was a Greek person and the longest serving president of the International Olympic Committee was the man who revived the modern Olympics and his name was Pierre de Coubertin and he was a French person. The current president of the International Olympic Committee is Thomas Bach and he hails from Germany. An interesting fact is that the International Olympic Committee is a permanent observer member of the United Nations and it was granted this status in the year 2009. Talking about the Indian Olympic Association, it was formed in the year 1927 and it has its headquarters at New Delhi. The first president of the Indian Olympic Association was Sir Doravji Tata who was the son of the current president of Indian Olympic Association is Mr. Narendra Batra. Coming to the 2020 Olympics, these are the 32nd Summer Olympics and they are being organized in the year 2021 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the venue for the 2020 Olympics is Tokyo, which is the capital city of Japan. Previously, Tokyo had hosted multiple Olympics such as the 1964 Summer Olympics, the 1972 and 1998 Winter Olympics. And the previous Olympics, that is the 2016 Olympics, were organized by Brazil in the city of Rio de Janeiro. The next Olympics, that is the 2024 Olympics, will be organized by France in the capital city of Paris. The mascot of the 2020 Olympics is Miraitova and the motto of the Olympics was United by Emotions. These Olympics were inaugurated by the Emperor of Japan, whose name is Naruhito, and concluded by the President of the International Olympic Committee, that is Mr. Thomas Bach. Number of sports that were included in this year's Olympic Games was 33 and a total of 339 events were organized for these sports. We had four new sports in these Olympics called skateboarding, surfing, sports climbing and karate. And there was one returning sport as well that is baseball which had vanished from the Olympics after 2008. The Olympic flame at Tokyo was lit by Naomi Osaka who is a tennis player of Japan. The Indian contingent at the Tokyo Olympics had 124 members and the flag bearer in the opening ceremony were MC Maricom from boxing and Manpreet Singh Sandhu from hockey. However, in the closing ceremony, the flag bearer of the Indian contingent was Bajrang Punya who is a wrestler. Talking about the medal table of uh, Tokyo Olympics, there were 93 teams that won an Olympic medal and there were 65 teams that won a gold medal. USA won the most medals at the Olympics, that is 113, and it also won 39 gold medals, which is the highest number of gold medals at these Olympics. India won 7 medals at this year's Olympics, and the rank of India was 48. The most medals by an athlete 
was a seven and it was won by Emma Macion, who is an Australian swimmer and she won four gold and three bronze medals. The most gold medals were won by a US athlete also in swimming that is Pale Bremel Dressel and he won five gold medals. India won a total of seven medals as uh, mentioned before. The gold medal was won by Neeraj Chopra in men's javelin throw event of athletics. Silver medal was won by Ravi Kumar Dahiya in 57 kg freestyle wrestling and Saikhom Mirabai Chanu in 49 kg weightlifting. The bronze medalists of India were Lavlina Borgahen in welterweight boxing, Bajrang Punya in 65 kg freestyle wrestling, PV Sindhu in badminton singles and the men's hockey team. Now we will be talking about the Indian medalist. First of all, the first medalist of India in the 2020 Olympics that is Saikhom Mirabai Chanu and she hails from Imphal Manipur and had won her first ever Olympic medal. Neera Chopra became the first athlete to win a medal in athletics and the second individual gold medalist for India after Abhinav Bindra who had won his medal at Beijing in 2008. Also he hails from Panipat Haryana and is a JCO in the 4th Rajputana Rifles of Indian Army. Mr. Ravi Kumar Dahiya won the silver medal and he hails from Sonipat Haryana and is the second wrestler to win an Olympic silver medal. Bajrang Punya who hails from Jhajjar Haryana became the fourth wrestler to win the Olympic bronze medal after KD Jadhav, Sushil Kumar and Sakshi Malik. PV Sindhu became the first female to win two Olympic medals after Sushil Kumar who won the medals at 2008 and 2012. Likewise, PV Sindhu had won her previous medal uh, which was a silver medal at Rio Olympics of 2016. Lavlina Borgohen, she hails from Golaghat, Assam and is the second female boxer to win an Olympic medal. She did this after MC Maricom at the 2012 Olympics. The men's hockey team, it has won an Olympic medal after 41 years and the previous medal at the Olympics was in 1980 and Moscow had hosted those Olympic Games. The Indian men's hockey team defeated Germany to win the bronze medal. So a total of 35 medals have been won by India at the Olympics. Out of them, 10 are gold, 9 are silver and 16 are bronze. The most successful sport for India at the Olympics has been hockey which has given 8 gold, 1 silver and 1 bronze medal. Now here are some miscellaneous facts about the Olympics. At this year's Olympics, we had transgender athlete participation as well and she was Laurel Hubbard from New Zealand. The oldest athlete to participate in the Olympics was Mary Hanna, so who is 54 years old and is an equestrian from Australia. The youngest athlete to participate in this year's Olympics was Hank Zaza, who is 12 years old and is a table tennis player from Syria. Now, Mana Patel became the first Indian swimmer to qualify for Olympics and likewise Netra Kumanan became the first Indian sailor to qualify at the Olympics. The first Indian fencer at Olympics was Bhavani Devi. And one more fact that the International Olympic Day is observed on 23rd of June every year. A general reminder that several other videos covering the static portion of general knowledge are already uploaded on the channel. So you can look for them from the playlist section of this channel. Also, the PDF of this all material will be available on the Telegram channel. The link to that is in the description. This was the end of the video. Thank you for listening.